Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Before I get into this video, make sure if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below so you can get notified of all the videos that I post once a week. When I get to 100 subscribers, I will be doing a small giveaway, so make sure you are subscribed so you're able to be part of that and comment a heart emoji down below. So we're starting out with my eyes first. And excuse my voice, I have something going on with my throat today. So as always, we're using my absolute favorite behind the scenes eye primer by Lorac. As you can tell, the label is completely worn off. I love this stuff and it lasts forever. Put a little bit of my eyelids. We're gonna go into my Lorac Pro Palette. These things are so hard to clean. Have you ever guys, like, do you guys ever feel like you get makeup and it looks pristine for like a day and then it's like dirty and you never can get it to look nice again? Yeah, this happens. Just because of the matte black, it shows everything. Anywho, so we're gonna go in with taupe. And we're gonna just start blending this into my crease. I'm in an odd mood this morning. I don't know. Just one of those days. Feeling alive and, and good and So now that we have a little bit of that blended in, we're gonna go in with sable. Which is like the medium brown in this palette. Just blending it into the crease. Let me know what your guys' favorite type of ice cream is. Just a random question of the video. Mine is mint chocolate chip. Although, sadly, I'm allergic to eggs, so I can't really eat it. Unless there's a version that has no egg in it. Some ice cream does, some ice cream doesn't. Just depends. That's a new fact about me, because up until like two months ago, I was not allergic to eggs. Recent allergy. Alright, so now that this is a little bit darkened up, we're gonna go into espresso, which is the like darkest brown in this palette. And just use a little bit of this on the outer corner. I was gonna say counter. This is the counter of your eye. Yeah. Real smooth. Now we're gonna take this gold and we're gonna use this on my eyelid. And I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush. This one's a little bit big, but I'm working with it. Now I'm gonna go in with cream. And I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to use this above the brown just to kind of blend it out, make sure it looks nice, nice and smooth. Now comes the most exciting part that I've been waiting for, for all of the few minutes that I've been filming. It's time for the glitter. So anyways, we're going to go with the NYX glitter primer. And usually what I do is I just put this on my finger and I like dab it. I'll rub it together between the two fingers and dab it on so I don't have like too much in one spot. So it's not just like a glob that sticks somewhere. We're just doing this over my eyelid where the gold is. Now we're going to use the NYX loose glitter and this one is in... I think it's just called gold, but it doesn't actually tell me like the name of it on the container. Oh no, it does. It's bronze. This is the bronze. The gold I think is more of like a yellow, and I prefer 
I prefer more of like a deeper gold like this. So we're gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna dip it into the gold and place it onto my eyelid. So I'm gonna add a little I'm gonna add a little more primer because I feel like there's some spots that don't have as much. So now what we're going to do, we're, we're going to go back in with my my crease brush and we're going to go in with taupe and we're just going to clean up the crease because I do have some glitter that got a little higher than I would like and so I'm using the lighter brown shade. We're going to take the fluffiest, biggest brush ever brush I've had for a while. I just use it usually to, I used to use it for powder, but now I just use it to clean up my face. So with the glitter, this is great to use because it just gets rid of a lot of the loose. You'll still have some, but for the most part it works pretty well. That's why I left nothing on my face. I didn't put any primer on or anything, otherwise the glitter would be stuck. We're gonna move on to the rest of my face and then come back and finish my eyes in a minute. I'm going in with my Lorac Perfection Primer. As always, I'm using my MAC Match Master Foundation in 2.0. I am looking for some different foundation, and I'm also looking for a really good like BB cream that I can use during the summer that has some color to it, but like isn't too like heavy, that's pretty light. I have the um, L'Oreal like Magic BB Cream, but I find it doesn't last very long on my face. I find that by the end of the day, the like color is gone. So if you guys have any good suggestions for BB Cream, let me know in the comments. So I'm gonna use this flat Kabuki and just have a few pumps of foundation on my hand. Now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, and I'm going to go in with the yellow shade. It's banana, I believe. Yep, it's banana. And I'm going to use this under my eyes. I'm going to go in with the cinnamon shade, which is the medium brown, and I'm going to use it as a contour for my cheekbones. And I just use my finger when I apply this initially, and then I'll blend it out with a brush. We're also going to use cinnamon on my forehead as well, just my temple. I'm going to use a little bit down here to contour my chin. And I'm going to use a little bit of banana on my nose, not too much. I'm going to use my foundation brush to blend out the banana. And then I'm using my Real Technique stippling brush to blend out the cinnamon. I feel like I need a touch more concealer under my eyes because I have pretty dark circles today. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind concealer and this one's in medium. So for blush, I'm going to go in with my Laura Q the Confetti palette, and I'm using Tinge. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush, it's the number 100. And to add a little bit extra dimension to the blush, I'm going in with my Laura blush, and it's the Ultraviolet, it's the purple, obviously. I'm using the same brush. So for highlight, I'm using my Lorac Highlight in Daylight, and I'm going in with my Sephora Fan Brush. I'm going back into my Lorac palette, and I'm going to use the gold and a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this under my eye. I'm 
then I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush. This is 201. I don't know exactly what the name of this brush is. And I'm gonna go in with Taupe and I'm gonna use that under my eye as well. Now I'm gonna use my NYX Black Liquid Aligner. And like I said in many of my videos, this is my favorite liner. It's pretty much the only liquid black liner I use. So while I'm letting my eyeliner dry, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder to do my brows. And I'm using just an angled eyeliner brush. <laughs> now I'm going in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer just to set my brows. This is a really kind of interesting brush on it. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on these LA Colors Drama Lash in Diva, which is 976. And I'm gonna put these on off camera because I am not very good at putting on lashes. It takes me a while. And you'd probably be sitting here for like 20 hours. Not really, but close to. So I'll see you guys when I have the lashes on. So now that my lashes are all on, only took like five minutes, so it's good. Not 20 hours. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my roller lash mascara and I'm just gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes. Alright, last but not least, I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Dede I'm gonna use the Mario Badesco facial spray just to kind of freshen everything. So to add some more color to my look, I'm gonna go in with my TARDIS lip paint, and this one is in the color XOXO. It's a nice red. This is my completed look and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.